Hello guys, welcome back to Living Candidly. I am Kay. So we're out here again at another nature park. Well, there's a butterfly in front of me. It's ironic, right? Like I got this butterfly yesterday and it's so pretty. And I don't know if you guys ever heard of Earthbound, but I love going to Earthbound. And I got it and it's just, oh, it's so pretty. I love butterflies, but, and I just saw one too. Um, <laughs> but this is besides the point. I hope you guys have been very well. Um, so today, sort of a vlog, but not a vlog. I don't know. Maybe I can call it a vlog. Maybe. We'll see. Um, so recently, uh, I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos. I had got a reading done because I wanted to know about the end of the year, this last month of December. And I wanted to know like what's happening, what's coming in. And um so I like her as a reading as a reader, she's really great. But this you've ever had a reader that gives you all the details that's about to come in for this month and she's just kinda like general. But I did get messages from it, which is going back to today's video and what it's all about. Um and she said she says that the work that you're doing right now is going to pay off in the end. And I really <laughs> thought that was really powerful because um, I have been doing a lot of journaling, healing since like February is when I became more consistent with my morning routine. And really pretty <laughs> out here. Um, since February and you know at the end of the day it's just about me and my own experiences and if I see the change I don't like the lighting ah, this one doesn't have shade maybe we we'll get a little further in but <laughs> um it's about me seeing my own hilly and so this is all about healing um in my own journey thus far since we're wrapping up the end of the year and this is the last video of 2023 i will be back um january 11th 2024 <laughs> i don't know i don't know i want to do the angel numbers and symbolicness for it um <laughs> i actually considered my podcast um coming out that time too so not sure being told i should wait till spring but well yeah so i'm gonna keep journeying and keep talking about my healing process during this video and <laughs> basically yeah <laughs> biggest thing I can take from this year and the hardest thing of this year was actually honestly cutting off my um, relatives, my mother, everybody that's associated with her, and anybody that I felt that was toxic for my and my own healing journey. It smells very wood woody, woodery out here right now. Um, very witty but I feel like that was kind of the hardest thing this year for me it's literally just dealing with that and I remember at the beginning there's a lot of crying but like I knew it was necessary for me to embark on that look at the chase <laughs> like I knew it was necessary for me to embark on that because I know that was a part of my journey and I feel like there's that saying that you can't heal from the place that broke you. So if you grew up in a very toxic environment, you can't heal from that environment at all. And I feel like me was detaching from that environment so I can better myself. And honestly, it's been very more, I feel more at, at peace compared to when I was there. So it's a great part of this year for me. Um, I'm just really obsessed with this butterfly right now. <sighs>
very pretty very pretty <laughs> Sorry y'all, I'm obsessed with this tree and the lighting. And that looks a little creepy over there. But oh my god, it's so pretty. <laughs> I'd show y'all this, but mm. morning. Really pretty. Look at that lighting. <laughs> I'm being extra right now. I have moments where I'm I wanna have moments where I'm sitting in the room and I'm like what is it? I'm just chilling, I'm eating, or I'm reading a book, or I'm like dancing. Just very like, I don't know, symbolic. I like this tree too. You love Mother Nature. <laughs> but um, I don't know, one more moments like that. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay guys, um, this tree is really tricky to me and I know you guys saw that little moment. Uh, well, I didn't get the pictures, but I wanted to take a video of like this because this is really, really cute. I wish I could climb in that tree because when I was a kid, I used to always climb trees. I feel like I was like Tarzan, but I guess for the, ver the girl version, I'm like Tarzania. Um, <laughs> but no, it's just really, um, really uh healing really healing i actually show you that way it's a little better um i'm not gonna personally go up in that because i'm not doing it and um i'm a little you know <laughs> but even though i'm a black person i break the stereotypes that you know when they say black people don't be hiking that's it's white people stuff i'm not that person <laughs> Break versions. I am the breaking the stereotypes that people associate that all black people are like. Um, which I think is cool. I want to go too far in here because I don't be trusting this, but <laughs> look how beautiful it is. I'm not gonna go touch it. I wish I could touch it, but we're not doing that. Um, <sighs> yeah, just oh, it's so beautiful. I need to get together because honestly, I'm already wasting up my battery right now. <laughs> Playing games. Oh, you can see it now. Look at that. All right, so we finally reached our next trail which is far reaches trail i wasn't expecting it took a long time longer than i thought it would take um and then we actually put our hands on a tree <laughs> and that was fun um because you know trees are very healing oh yeah i love this <laughs> but trees are very healing and therapeutic and so i always say you see a tree hug it <laughs> Um, anything else on me this year? Uh, a lot of self-love, a lot of putting myself together. And you guys never see me with glasses, which I really didn't even talk to about at the beginning. I just pulled up with the glasses. So I do have glasses, but I don't like wearing glasses. I, um, I tend to think they don't look good on me, so I don't wear them. Um, I wear them once in a while, you know, um, I can see without them, <laughs> which you guys can tell <laughs> with all the videos I've done and everything without glasses, but I don't know. I, I just don't, I don't like wearing them for a reason. Yeah, the sun's just gonna keep hitting us, hitting us, <laughs> but I think all the stuff that I'm doing now is gonna pay off and I was watching an episode this morning, a podcast episode about healing isn't linear, and I've always known that. And so there are a lot of people out there that think that um, trying to turn this right, 
up, oh, come now. <laughs> that literally think that you literally can fully heal <laughs> and that's it. And I don't believe in that. I believe personally healing, um, you're gonna always be bettering yourself till the day you die. There's always gonna be something you're gonna have to work on or improve at or get better at. And just to think that, oh my God, the butterfly just like literally came past my face. It was so cute. <sighs> but just to think that like healing stops, like you just can become being fully healed. I honestly think that's like a myth. Uh, I love this tree. We have to touch the tree, guys. Touch it. <laughs> so powerful. Very, but these flowers are so cute. Let me show you guys. I love all these butterflies today. Um, <laughs> this year's just been healing for me, and I feel like it'll be more healing. And next year's supposed to actually be like a really busy year for me. Looking forward to it, but not looking forward to it. But I know that it's going to be good for me and my own journey. And it's starting to get a little hotter now. <laughs> when I first got in here, it was fucking cold. <coughs> and I was like, I was like shivering. It was like a white butterfly. Um, I was like shivering and shit. But now I'm like hot and I'm wearing black with these black fucking uh, trousers, black and white trousers. Um, kind of like plaid. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, run. Run, run, run. Just kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I think there was a dragonfly. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, so what else can I say about this year? Therapeutic. <laughs> I feel like... Even though it's been a year for me and I turned 25, oh my lord, midway through the 20s. <laughs> I do still feel like I'm sometimes 15, even though I'm just more wiser with more knowledge. I still feel like I'm, you know, <laughs> young, younger, but uh, I still have like this very um, playful energy. If you ever meet me in person, you get to know me in person, uh, you need to tell me on here, I'm very goofy as fuck. Very goofy. Okay, this is really rocky. Hold. <laughs> While I try to climb up here. <laughs> and oh, one second. So, this girl once, I think I told the story, she was like, you're so cocky, you're like so conceited. And this was like in 2017 or 2018. And I was like, I'm not conceited. And I think back then, I think that meant that I was very confident. <laughs> and conceited has different versions, um, different meanings, like not even different meaning. Basically somebody that's like very oh, full of themselves, they're really into themselves, like really cocky, <laughs> arrogant. <laughs> and I was always kind of like, no, I just think back then I was, more confident than what I am now and I'm trying to get back into that just like knowing myself <laughs> um, we went to this timeshare thing right and like I was just like I don't really want to go this is going to be boring as hell to me and it was about travel and stuff like that and Wyndham and I'm back of my head I'm like this is a scam right so we're getting interrogated uh, ter <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for terrorized okay i'm gonna call it terrorized <laughs> to sign money over to these people in the back of my head i'm like are y'all that broke you apparently all own so many resorts and locations around the world are you that broke you feel me and so at the end <laughs> we, we already had our mind made up right 
and they're just like so you know you want to do this like because like why would you want to spend one hundred fifty thousand dollars for the next 10 years and i'm like <sighs> okay and then they just keep going back and forth with us and at the end i like i became some assertive person <laughs> which was really um different for me i was like uh first and foremost I don't need this because I already know I'm going to travel the world. I'm going to see the world. <laughs> I'm going to do all these amazing things. I'm going to get the life I want and my dream life, you know, you know, obviously putting in effort and stuff like that. But like I already know it's coming to me. And like I'm very, um, it's, there's a word I'm trying to des describe it, but I'm very like calm. When it comes to my belief systems and spirituality, that's something I'm going to stand 10 times, 10 times, 10 toes down on, right? And I was like, nah, this is good. I'm like, I'm good. I'm like, let's go. I'm ready to go because I'm hungry. And she's going to say some, well, you can eat when you go to the resort. So I'm about like the resort and eating. And I was like, girl, I'm hungry now. I don't got time for a resort, you know? And she's like, we can plan it for you. And in the back of my head, I'm like, I can plan it myself because some people don't like planning, but I kind of like, I kind of like looking around and finding places to go to. I don't want to just go to what people want you to go to. Like, <laughs> you know, most people try to stay in the resorts or they go to the local areas. And I'm like, nah, I want to go other places. And so basically it was shitty and I had a lot of anxiety during the whole ordeal. But I was an assertive person at the end. I was like, I'm good. Let's go. <laughs> Probably came up as a bitch, but nah. I'm good, money. I'm money. And then I was like, I'm going to be a millionaire one day. And this guy's like, well, when you're a millionaire, you're not going to need it. And I'm like, exactly. But um, <sighs> I'm going to keep walking a bit more. And I'll see you guys in my next clip. <laughs>
but I know making an impact on the little subscribers they have. Even if you watch, even if you don't watch, eventually you'll make a bigger impact on other people's lives. And eventually, one day, I'll have my own little family. Um, <laughs> I'll make an impact on theirs. That'd be cool. Oh, just impacts. <laughs> I just want to be speaking, remembered for making a difference in people's lives. And, you know, one day being somebody's amazing, fantastic, beautiful, fabulous <laughs> mother. Um, but also just being amazing just by being myself, simply. Because... Yeah, <laughs> you want to be remembered for all the amazing things you did and the person you were to people, but you also want to be, I guess, just yourself for being you. Um, I don't know what my obituary will say one day, but yeah, as I transition and transcend to my next life, <laughs> I don't want another life here, preferably, but you know. <laughs> I feel like I should show more, more of my goofy side on here. I'm just doing everyday life shit, everyday life vlogs, because a lot of them tend to be very spiritual or healing. There's something wrong with that. But I don't know. I like my channel to have such a certain theme to it. Um, and I used to do that on my old channel that I no longer have up. At all, but used to be very like just random videos <laughs> of me in life. So at some point when I get my car, I love to do more of that <sighs> and chatting with you guys in my future room <laughs> car. <sighs> Tea disappeared, but <sighs> who doesn't love her? Her, me, <laughs> just kidding. No, I'm for real, for real, me. But, um, Mother Nature. <sighs> She's just so rich in history and love and pure energy. And I always say I have the most peace of mind and peace in general when I'm in nature. <laughs> so... Okay, so we finally making it out. Um, thank you for joining me. I don't know if I'm gonna record anything. If I do, you'll see. Um, but thank you though for joining me on this healing journey um, about the recap of this year and you know, only one year anniversary is coming up next year. So uh, I posted a lot. I, hopes to not post that much next year <laughs> but i like to record a lot so um we'll see but now i'm gonna go eat eat because <laughs> i'm starving but i made it through and yeah, yeah.